Hello everybody and blessings from the Goddess Temple in Ubud, Bali. This is Tefnut Light with your daily numerology reading and today's date is the 19th of March um, 2015. It is Thursday. We are approaching, we are one day um, in Bali away from the solar new moon eclipse in Pisces. I want to say Aries because we're just about to hit Aries but it is the last degree of Pisces so really interesting shifting day. So it's going to be the, the new doors are opening very soon. So I hope you're all doing really, really well. And this is going to be your daily numerology reading with these beautiful cards. So, and we are also approaching the day of silence here in Bali. It's called Nephi and it's basically nothing is open and not much electricity. We'll see how it all goes. Um, so I'm hoping there'll be internet, but we'll see. So if you're here in Bali, you're probably preparing for that. Anyway, so let's tap into the energies today. We are now, and the moon is in Pisces right now. So it's very spiritual. If you're feeling kind of sleepy today, I had that today. It's kind of a dreamy day and really starting to feel the approaching solar eclipse. So beautiful energy. You take really, really good care of yourself and just take it slow. That's all I have to say. Take it really slow as I know we're really ready to move forward with that Mars energy as we have Mars in Aries right now and we have uh, Venus in Taurus. So there's a lot of beautiful love energy and there's a lot of action happening. Take it the way you want to but be gentle on yourself. So let's see here. Turning into the beautiful the song of the jungle and I think this card wants to come up. Oh wow! karmic completion. That is a big one. Um, number 10. It is also about beginnings, so don't don't fret. It is a card of beginnings. This does kind of uh, bring up some stuff for me when I look at this card. It's like, oof, what does that mean? So it really means most people take the word karma really seriously. I do too, but in a sense, I like to take it on a lighter note because I think there's also a beautiful message behind that. You can choose your karma. So choose your karma wisely today. What you want to work on in terms, and I'm not really digging the color gray, sorry. Gray to me is just a shade, shade of gray. It's like moving on to the next thing. Let's bring on the next color. It's like between white and black, but it's not even either or the color, if that makes sense. It's like yin and yang mixed together. But is the number one, as zero does not really have a number. It is a number, but it's just, it extends the number. I see it that way. So it's really about coming into the, the essence, as I always says, we're, prepare, we're preparing for the solar eclipse. There is a chapter that's ending and there's a new chapter that's beginning. Um, one of my beloved, uh, favorite astrologers, I found out yesterday that he passed away. I used to watch him. I don't know if you know Jeff Jower. But I just want to speak upon that with ch chapters closing. Um, he's actually having his uh, life celebration this weekend in, in Seattle. So he was amazing. He's in, he inspired me to do what I do today. They did a, a show on YouTube called Planet Bowl. So if you want to look it up, look it up. But anyways, I want to send love to that. So there's a huge chapter in many, many people's lives so to say, coming to a close, because there's a new chapter, if you look at number one, there's a new chapter opening. So just allow the last day before the solar eclipse just to kind of bring things together. Don't worry about that gray shade. As the gray shade has become white, it will become bright and white again. Just really tap into what is the next part of my life? What do I want to bring in in terms of good karma? How can I approach this in a way that's going to help me it's going to move me forward and is going to heal things that I need to let go of and things that I need to bring into my life. So that is really about coming into balance, the yin and the yang. That's what I'm really feeling. It does bring up my own stuff when I see that card, but I think we all feel that in a sense. We're really ready for this positive change. And that is what the solar eclipse new moon is all about. And the number 29 does this signify endings, especially in the degree of Pisces. But it brings in the new age of Aquarius, I want to say. So it's really about transforming. It's a transformational death, possibly, that some people may, may be feeling today a little on the heavy side, but don't fear it, please. It is about transformation. If you want to go check out any of um, Rick Levine's videos, he talks very much about the energy of March. Um, it is under Jeff Jowers' channel. 
I will maybe link the video below because it really talks about what we're coming into about this new birthing, about really death being a symbol of transformation and it's just going to be available in a different kind of energy. That is what this day is about. So take good care of yourselves. I love you so much. Don't fear and bless in the new transformation. If you'd like to get in touch for a reading, my links will be below. Love you so much. Love from the jungle and love from Tefnut. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful day.